Temesia CTV. Now guys, I am so sorry that this review is really late. It's been about 24 hours, hasn't it, since the game. So I am so sorry that it is so late. But guys, I am here. Um, last night I went and watched the game um, in my local pub. Um, and then I came straight back, got ready and then went out for Halloween with everyone. So I never actually managed to do the review. Um, so that's why I'm here now doing it. I couldn't miss this one, could I not? Of course. Um, first of all, it's, it's, it's a weird feeling, you know. Um, yesterday, watching it in the pub, like... I felt buzzing that we'd won and everything, don't get me wrong. But I couldn't, like, scream and jump around and dance about it like I usually do because somehow it didn't feel right to do that because it's Frank Lampard, you know? And at the end, when um, the TV cameras showed Frank Lampard, it was just really sad um, to see him because, obviously, he's our absolute Chelsea legend. We love him to pieces. And to see him get beaten by us, it's just a really bittersweet thing. It's so strange and it's so sad. And I just didn't know what to do. Like, I was buzzing that we'd won, don't get me wrong, as always. I always am buzzing about a Chelsea win, but it didn't feel like every other game last night, you know? It felt very, very strange. Um, I just felt like I'd be disrespectful if I was, like, jumping around about it because poor Frank Lampard and Jordi Morris. Um, but, yeah, but, guys, let's, let's quickly go into the game. So, obviously... Five minutes in, um, I've even written down all the goals because they were flying in everywhere. Um, five minutes in, obviously, Tamori scored an own goal, um, obviously giving us a 1-0 lead. Now, he'll really beat himself up about that, I'm sure. And you do feel a little bit sorry for him, you know? I mean, back at the bridge and that happens five minutes into the game. And it, I think Derby probably thought oh my god, this isn't going to be our night. But they turned it around from then, because Jack Marriott obviously scored in the ninth minute of the game, um, and it was 1-1 within the first 10 minutes. Like, I just knew when it was 1-1 in the first 10 minutes, I thought, this is going to be a high-scoring game, there's going to be lots of, lots of goals, and it's going to be intense. I felt like the full 90 minutes was quite intense, guys. Like, it was very nerve-wracking. Um, and then, obviously, Keogh, um, scored in the 21st minute of the game. Um, another wrong goal. What on earth? It was ridiculous. They've got two goals for us. Like, that is something that is focused on about this game because, like, yeah, if one player lets an on goal in, it's like an accident, fair enough. But for two players to let two on goals in, it was shocking. I couldn't believe it. Like, within the first obviously 20 minutes of the game we were 2-1 up and none of our players had scored so it was a very weird feeling and then obviously Wag Wagon scored in the 27th minute of the game um, for Derby and it was 2-2 um, and that's what I'm saying it was very intense and um, Derby obviously chased the game back. Um, can I just say Derby played very, very well um, last night? I'm not even going to just say the first half. They played very well for 90 minutes, you know, and um, got to give them that. <clears throat> Frank Lampard and Jordan Morris had obviously prepared for this game very well. And then obviously Fabregas scored us the winner in the 41 minute of the game. Um, 41st minute of the game, sorry. Um, I felt like when it was 3-2 um, at half-time, I thought, God knows what's going to happen in the second half. I thought, there's going to be so many goals going ev in everywhere, but it just didn't happen like that, did it? Like, second half, everything smoothed over, calmed down, and there was no goals at all, and it ended 3-2 Chelsea. Um, but yeah, as I said, like, Derby played really well last night, and you've got to respect them for that. Frank Lampard definitely got them well prepared for the game, um, and for them to turn up like that is a credit to them, you know? Um, they should be impressed with themselves, and being around Derby fans last night, like, in obviously the pub, because I'm obviously in Derby, um, Derby fans were really disheartened, but I said, look, like, you've, you've played really well tonight, like, don't kick yourselves down about it, like, yeah, you, you're going to feel gutted if your team goes out, aren't you? Because, obviously, <laughs> they're gone. Um, it's not like the league. It's not point system. They've, they've gone out of the cup now. But I said to Derby fans, like, look, you've played really well um, and don't get down about it. But, nevertheless, they're still out of the competition. So And we're in the quarterfinals. Yay! <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, guys, obviously, we drew Bournemouth in the quarterfinals of the cup. Um Moving on to that game, I don't think that's too hard in all honesty. No disrespect to Bournemouth, but I do feel like we'll be able to do it. Like that's that's a smooth ride so far, you know. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying I 
no disrespect to by saying smooth ride, like, round, ride, sorry, like, die, because last night wasn't a smooth ride, that game, but going into Bournemouth, that's a smooth ride, like, it's not the biggest, hardest game, you know, it's it's Bournemouth, we, we've beaten Bournemouth plenty of times, we can surely do it in the cup, and um, I have a lot of faith in this competition, in the team um, in this competition I think we can go all the way um, and I do love the cup I always go on about how much I love the cup but I really do um, but yeah but that was that was the result and I and I just felt it just felt weird didn't it because obviously Frank Lampard and everything but it was so magical to see him back at the bridge and hearing all the fans singing his name was just beautiful like it was so lovely and um, if I was in the ground I certainly would have been doing the same I'd have been singing super Frankie Lampard because we love him, an absolute legend. Um, it's Chelsea through and through, though, you know? Um, I know that Derby fans are always singing he's a Ram now, but no, he's not. He's a Chelsea legend. <laughs> um, but, yeah. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below all your match thoughts and who your man of the match was. My man of the match would have to be Fabregas, simply because he scored as a winner. And if it wasn't for that goal going in, we wouldn't have got through to the quarterfinals. He was very influential in the game. So yeah, Fabregas is my man of the match. 3-2 and we're into the quarterfinals. Up the Chelsea. Thanks.